Alrighty, let's check this out. Let me just play through the whole thing. There is no audio. It's a new added, <coughs> excuse me, beginning. It's coughing season now, it's cold. It's cold! It's cold where we are. All right, cool. Super cool. Yeah, I really like that beginning that you added there. This is super picky, but, and I know this is in rough stage, but you could probably delay the bowl. So it's just the hands. So it's nicely the first thing that we see silhouetted uh, and maybe change the coloring of both. So we don't think it's also part of the character since the skin tone is a bit similar. And that way immediately we have this and you can even have in your polish a little bit of a playfulness with the popcorn holding it because you are doing this, which is awesome. I love this. I think, yeah, it is all very visible. I was thinking at one point, hmm, maybe you should make this smaller, lower it, the difference. But at the same time, I think as long as this <clears throat> enters first, I think it makes it all very clear. And do this, that's cool. And I like that. There's a very clear look of, <coughs> excuse me, looking at the TV, then over and then the stop. And then, oh, she did it again. And I can absolutely identify with this. My wife has done the same and she is super cute when she sleeps. Yeah, it's actually really great. I really like this. You got some new reframing. I think this is still a bit top heavy. If you look at, you know, a classic action safe type of framing, I think you could either explore um, a stronger tilt up which the danger is that that sudden aggressive camera move might take away from the sensitive nature, sensitive as in like, um, you know, emotional aspect of the shot. So you might have to explore just a different mechanics here. Because he's already lowering himself. And then maybe it would just be, again, it's totally up to you, but maybe pushing that aspect of uh, arms out hands up, kind of like, I got to sneak in and be quiet, which will help you be a bit more um, bent over. So you don't have to do that crazy reframe. So to me, ideally, I will bring those glasses down to here. If you could lower it, that character by this much, and I think I would try with a post change versus the camera, I think it might be too much. Because right now, I like the somewhat looseness of the camera following the action. I think it's it reframes it nicely. I mean, except here, but it just... It's nice and loose without drawing attention to itself. And I'm concerned that this might be then too much if we suddenly tilt up too much. <clears throat> In your email, you're asking about this. And that was my thought too, that at this point, we're just covering the face too much. You know, it might be a different pose with the fingers in. He just does it just with his index. You might just hold uh, the side here. You might just do it with the other hand, holding this side, putting in... Um, and the thing is, if you need, the thing is, that to me covers the face too much. And there are ways to make it better, like different finger poses or hold, like I said, holding either side, again, changing arms potentially. But you could also technically um, explore the idea of not doing this at all and using that time for more emotion in the face. Because right now he gets down here, he has that. This all works. This is all great. Like all that works. So maybe you want to just cut those frames out to go straight from this to, you know, a faster transition from this to this. So you don't need all this moment. It could just be something where I'm adding stuff that you don't, you don't do this, but I'm just saying he could come down and suddenly make a noise where she has a bit of a um, um, kind of a readjustment and reshuffling and then he stops a bit and then she goes back to sleep and that's when he does this you know maybe there's a bit of a back and forth so my question to you is do you need this do you need this adjustment you can absolutely change the hand posing like i said to not cover the face as much um yeah those are my thoughts there maybe you want to use that moment 
for a bit more of a connection. Or you could do this where he gets closer and because he touches this, it kind of disturbs her a bit and she does a bit of a cute, you can do some cute acting with someone sleeping and then kind of readjusting. Maybe, you know, maybe it was more extreme where the tongue is maybe a, a bit more out and then adjustment ending in this pose. Tongue goes in a bit and that's the final pose there. So maybe the head was, you know, slightly more profile towards us and that's how we end. Um, so yeah. I think overall it's great. I would just adjust. My main thing is adjusting this down a bit. Other than that, love this beginning. It's great. I love the ending. And I just have lots of questions for you um, for this. It's totally up to you. And that's about it. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.